But whether it's a terrifying new white knuckle ride or a quick spin in the teacups, our theme parks are places of non-stop fun or non-stop frustration for disabled people. Firstly, let's try Alton Towers. Woo <laughs> Lee Sullivan and Chris Baldwin are members of the European Coaster Club. Their love of roller coasters has taken them all over the country. So who better to ask about the ups and downs of being a disabled thrill seeker? So, Chris, tell us, what are some of the problems you've encountered when coming to theme parks? Well, the most obvious one, of course, would be steps, which a lot of places tend to uh, be very keen on putting instead of ramps. And another one would be turnstiles, which tend to make life very awkward, obviously, getting in and out of places. Uh, um, but, of course, if you come somewhere like this and they've got it all covered with um, ramps access and no problems for the disabled at all, really. Well, if it's a really big park, I, c I can be all right getting in between rides, but I can't spend two or three hours standing in queues. So it's really appreciated if I can go down the exits or bypass the queuing system. Well, guys, according to my disabled visitor's guide, all we need to be able to do is brace ourselves and we can get in through the exit. So let's go. Cool. No need to queue. Well, as I haven't got very good control of my legs, I think this ride might be a little bit harsh on the old knee joints. Uh, so I'm not going on it. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was great fun. <laughs> what are your feelings on the on the two parts, Alton Towers or here? Oh, Alton Towers, yeah, definitely. All, all round better part, better access for the disabled people in general, uh, better quality of rides. Hi, right, Chris. Well, I'd say, as, as Lee says, uh, Alton Towers have definitely got it well sussed. If you're disabled, they, they, there are no problems getting in and out of rides, getting around, it's, it's fine. Are, they, are you upset that you didn't actually get to go on No Way Out? Um, yeah. <laughs> because I'm a member of a roller coaster club, and if it's there, it's got to be ridden. That's, that's the uh, order of the day. You know, how good or bad it is doesn't matter. But, you know, it's not the, not the issue, just the ex access is the issue. Do you think I should take up roller coaster? Only if you enjoy it, Mick. And as you know, I probably don't. So perhaps uh, something different for you, Mick. <laughs> Bungee jumping. <laughs> Give it a whirl, yes. <laughs> a trip out to a theme park can be an emotional roller coaster if you're disabled. You'll have no problem getting in, but access and restrictions on rides can vary greatly. Let's hope when the goods and services part of the DDA comes into effect in October, that access to rides will be on the up and up and up. I'm gonna get paid